Welcome back. Here we are again in week 45 of the Shogi Teaching Ladder. Um, thankfully, GLGR puts together this ladder every week. Uh, we're most appreciative for this. Uh, so yeah, this will be good fun. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, good luck. And so one, two, three... And then we'll challenge. So we, the challenge doesn't catch him completely by surprise. All right, good luck. If my overlay looks okay. Probably want to boost my volume again. Let's play third file rook once more. Quickly toggle sound way up here. There we go. Um, so I might get in a similar position as what I had faced not too long ago. And I'm still curious what's up with this opening, but I'm kind of encouraging a bishop exchange. I suppose I've not waited to see, though, if my opponent's going to play rook to the third file. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We've got some opportunity to play wrong diagonal bishop or whatever it's called. Um, you know, that could be exciting. I've always been curious about this. Let's give this an opportunity. Let's attempt this opening. Um, I realize now that I'm not so familiar with what the next move here is. I was thinking bishop drop here, hitting this pawn and this pawn. The more I think about it, that might be rather unwise. Um, yes, I've invited really aggressive something or other here. Um, hmm. Okay, we're going to defend the center just out of habit more than anything else. Um, yeah, this is apparently a freestyle opening. I got mixed up and I thought I had an opportunity to play wrong diagonal bishop. A wrong diagonal bishop is played when um, this rook is already moved. Since the rook has not moved, uh, we are in freestyle territory. Um, hmm. Sorry, I meant no offense by selecting this. It's just I confused my openings, as I tend to do because I need to study more. But um, so, what do I even consider here? Like protecting my center looked very important here. Yeah, likewise, they need to do the same. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, it's going to be very difficult to play central file rook in this position. Um, Let's attempt to play Static Rook opening. Um, maybe I should be aiming for the head of the knight instead of trying to open my rook here. But if I open this long diagonal, crazy things can occur. So I somehow this feels right, but also... Like, if they push this pawn to stop me from advancing again, I can bishop drop right there. Um, so I'm not trying to set opening traps, so I'm trying to balance open it, uh, attack yeah, with defense here. Um, and this pawn advance in front of my rook looks very strong. Um, also, my potential to build... Uh, what's it called? Yagura, the fortress. Uh, put the silver right there. 
bring up the other gold, tuck the king into the corner. That's very possible here. Um, I was not so sure if I could castle to the right. Hmm. Yeah, I think they need to move a general. I just don't know which one. It really depends, like, which way they intend to castle their king. Um, so, if they want to play... I don't know. I can't really find a wrong way to move a general here. But pushing pawns could be risky. Right, so if I push again... All right, so they've stopped me from dropping a bishop behind this line, so I think I should just push again. Threat of pushing a third time. This is quite unclear to me. Also, nothing can defend this pawn. So I was thinking wrong diagonal bishop, I needed to take this pawn. But actually, well... Oh, I am so confused. I'm so turned all about trying to figure this out. Um, but I want to activate my rook. So this seems like the best way to activate the rook. At least there's a consistent narrative here. Um, But yeah, I can also use my bishop to try to target this. Oh, but the pawn just moves, and now this pawn behind it is no longer a target. I see. So if I wanted to claim this pawn, I had to do it earlier. So yeah, we're definitely freestyling it. Um, now this is an interesting... Like, I could drop the bishop on this diagonal. It would stop Ibisha, or stop them from playing uh, this pawn all the way forward. Um, so they might play Swinging Rook at some point here. We might get some really complicated... Oh. Oh. Wow. Just as I was about to say this could get complicated, this absolutely has gotten complicated already. Um, hmm. So they move their king in advance of putting their generals together. Uh, I'm tempted to drop the bishop here and see if they can come up with a defense. Because um, either they counter by dropping a bishop themselves, which loses the knight, or... They uh, push this pawn, and then I push here, and then I take behind. Um, just looks dangerous. Yeah, I am... You've got my curiosity. Show me what's going on here. It's atypical to drop the bishop <laughs> without... I don't know. It's atypical to drop it this early. Um, so, I'm threatening to munch the pawn, and if this king moves away from the other pawn, I can munch that, or I could keep pushing this. Uh, I've not even, like, used my silver yet. And perhaps this is surprising my opponent that I'm attacking so quickly um, without support. But this silver is split from this silver. Their rook has not made a threat yet. They've moved a knight out. I guess it's really the knight moving. Well, it was forced to move, but the movement of the knight is what had me really surprised that they've not tried to build the most solid castle immediately after taking... Uh, the bishop. Because once this knight's moved, it can't move back. 
this is not chess, unfortunately. So, you know, defense is quite challenging at this point. Um, oh, they could drop the bishop here. Pin my bishop to my pawn. That could be interesting. Wow. Uh, that could get really sharp. Well, but I think I take the bishop and I push here and I keep taking stuff. Yeah, I think the best, the safest course of action in the short run is to just give away this pawn and redouble defense of this square. Um, so I will take the pawn before it has a chance to run away and cause me problems. Um, and yeah, I don't know how I continue attacking after this because I've not bothered to move the silver yet. Probably need to move it very soon. But my attack is so slow here. Um, for a second there, I had a quick attack and now my attack's kind of run out. Oh. This is surprising. Um because this uh, knight advancement um, traps the knight. That is strange. Well, I have no choice but to take this bishop. So I will take it. And now, now I'm confused. Because they know that I can attack this knight. So where's the tactic? Where's the aha moment that somehow justifies what's going on here? Um, see, I want to advance my rook. As much as I want a free knight in the opening, and I really do like free pieces, this is... I can take it whenever I want. Um, unless I mess up. Hmm. So if I attack this with my bishop, could, well, attacking from the front for the bishop's kind of reckless. I could attack from uh, the same diagonal again. They could push this pawn, then I could push this pawn. And I don't have so many weaknesses at the same time. Um, oh, they have a bishop 5-5 five five threat they've not made use of. Um... Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I guess this bishop five five forces me to do something. Ah, uh, this is strange. If I drop the bishop here, if they do bishop five 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 to block. Yeah, no. Um. Oh, hang on. I could move my knight right now if I wanted to. And that would cut off some bishop threats. Um, the knight's not the great attacking piece, but... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I just have to do what I have to do here. Which is prevent crazy stuff from happening back here. And I'm fortunate that my king can hold this corner together. Because, uh, yeah, otherwise I'm in trouble. Maybe they banked on me just attacking the knight and they could fork my lance and pawn. But now, even if their bishop hits... Well, they could hit this at the head of my knight. They could do the same tactics I've been doing to them. Um, 
but I happen to play Senta, so my attack strikes first. It's possible their attack might strike harder, but it won't strike first. Also, if they attack this, I could just bring the Rook up to defend it. Just a pleasant little accident. Also, I could push this. Well, bishop takes, pawn takes. They take with one of the generals. I hit the knight. I try to mow down all these generals and get my rook promoted. <clears throat> mm, pardon me. So, yeah, I've dealt with bishop 5-5. Five five. There might have been better ways to deal with bishop 5-5. Five five. Like advancing my center pawn, which I ruled out, but maybe it was the right move. I ruled it out because, like, they drop a bishop on this diagonal. I don't know, things get. Um, this hole looks weak. Oh! Yeah, that's a creative move. Um, this limits the scope of my rook. So the question is, how materialistic am I? How greedy can I be? Mm. I do want to chase this knight. This will give them a pawn in hand. My king's still in the center of the board. Um. Oh, then they could drop the bishop on the hole. Right, so... Next, I want to drop my bishop here, hit the knight. They could use their silver to defend the knight. I could push my pawn. They could use the silver to chase the bishop. Mm. Oh, wait. If they drop a bishop here, I could drop a bishop in the center. I seem to have all the bishop drops barely covered. It's a bit spooky. Um... I seem to have it covered. All right. Show me the combination that I keep missing. I'm curious at this point. Possibly at this point they need to just, I don't know, use the silver or pawn or something to attack. The rook is still stuck in the corner. Uh... We'll take this. Oh, I'm giving them my knight. I see. All right. Yeah, that is aggressive. This is the thing I missed. All right, we have to play this now, so we'll play it. Um, maybe I sacrifice my rook. Or maybe I just bring the rook up the board. Or across to my lance or something. Ah, I think a pawn promotion was stronger, but point well taken that I'm inviting an attack. I need to be more careful in the future. Um, point well made. So, yeah, we will allow the lance to be taken, but more likely they'll just take the exchange here. Um, either way, I have a nice attack. So I'm not too concerned. I think this pawn advance would have been much stronger or hit a lot harder or something to that effect. Um, uh oh, maybe that is quite good. Well, no, that's not really threatening to take my knight. Um, hmm.
Yeah, I am quite confused by the madness that I have spawned. Um, my king doesn't want to be here. All right, this feels correct somehow. I understand it makes it more difficult for me to promote the bishop, but promoting a bishop and taking lance here pales in comparison to smashing open the center uh, with the king still there. So we're going to play these very aggressive moves and hope that there's some light at the end of the tunnel and that the light's not a train. Um, all right, here we go. So I'm counting on an attack on the center combined with some fork or attack over here somehow. Um, yeah, this is very aggressive. I might join this with a bishop hitting this pawn, too. What I'm banking on is that the rook, if they were to take the rook, is not going to be a useful attacker. So I'm trying to save my rook from the, tact, from the pin that's currently stuck in. Also, like, if they do take the lance, I could consider a bishop drop. Um, I don't know. There's lots of bishop tactics here. It might not work, though. It's funny, uh, this morning in Shogi Sunday, uh, Shogi Harbor was expressing to a different player um, who plays very defensively, or at least in a certain game did, that she would like to see him try attacking. Um, I feel like perhaps I've taken that player's message and tried to apply it to my own game. Because this attack is kind of crazy. Um... Oh, also, why did I move a knight? It looks like dropping a knight to do this attack might have been stronger. Well, no, that doesn't make any sense. No. There's no advantage uh, to dropping a knight. Um... All right, do I drop a knight here and then bishop drop here or something? Like, there's got to be some fun tactics here somewhere. Oh, if I drop the bishop on 5-5 five five to hit this pawn, I'm threatening a knight drop. They can just move the rook away. Um, knight takes, silver takes, knight takes, gold takes. Another knight drop. Um... So our opponent has no pieces in hand, so we want to add a piece to the board right now, because they aren't going to be able to respond by adding a piece. They could move the bishop back to defend this point, but they can't add another piece to the board. They don't have a piece in hand. So... Uh, yeah, I think I have a choice between bishop here or bishop there. Bishop here I think is much safer. Well, it's one move safer. Yeah, I think that's fine. Wait, no, if I go here, though, this defends my center. Well, I don't need that defended. Um... Yeah, we're just going to continue piling up on this pawn. 
So now I think they're forced to either capture the lance or go back and defend or sack for this knight. But taking the knight allows me to threaten this knight fork hitting the gold and the king. So... Hmm. Yeah, either they go back to defend or they take a piece. Really, any of these pieces could be taken. Neither of us have enough time to analyze this game. It's gotten too crazy. Again, earlier, had they just pushed this pawn instead of doing the bishop drop, I think their attack would have been much faster. My rook could have run away, true, but they would have had a lasting attack. Here, it's not clear that they have a lasting attack. So I'm expecting silver takes knight. But, um, yeah, I. it's not to say that's even best. I have no idea, like, what Gota should play here. It looks very difficult. I mean, I'd be very concerned and I'd pull the bishop back, but I don't think that's right either. It is interesting. If they take the rook, they could drop it to win this lance. And they'd have a rook stuck in the corner. That is interesting. Alright, we're entering Bioyomi very soon. Um, when you're this close to entering it and you have a really tough position, might not be bad to actually, like, I mean, if you play quickly, you're not going to get your Bioyomi benefit right away. Um, so the trade-off you're making is there's some peace of mind in knowing, hey, I've got an extra 20 seconds or something right now. Or you could have the peace of mind of knowing, hey, I spent the extra Bioyomi time each move, and I'm finding good responses. All right, so, I mean, it's pretty clear what I'm doing here, I think. I could spend all the time in the world, but I don't have that many options in this position. Well, I could have trapped this horse. I could have played silver up. They could have pushed this pawn. It's not good, but I had that option. Um, Wait, I could do a knight drop right here, and then take that. That is so strong. Yeah, so here I'm now winning perhaps a silver plus a gold. Um, hmm. Plus they can't take this pawn right now. I was thinking I was just going to repeatedly pin this over and over, but um, I've actually built an attack. Just based on getting to chase their king a lot. Um, now this rook will cover the second rank, so... Oh god, wow. 
not where I would have thought of moving this, but maybe it's best. Um, it's confusing for sure. Ah, uh, so. Yeah, my opponent already has a knight. Giving them one more knight is going to hurt less than giving them a bishop. Um, unless for whatever reason I need a knight to check me, but I really don't. So the next threat is silver drop here, I think. Or simply bishop takes gold if they take this. Um, um, they might completely ignore my attack too. I didn't even think about that. It's kind of funny. But yeah, it's possible to ignore this attack because... Well, I don't know if the fact that I promote it makes it possible. No. If they can't ignore it, it's not because of the promotion. Uh... Yeah, finally they cut off my bishop and they say, hey, 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 hey. That's enough from that bishop there. We get the idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I see. I could sack to take the knight. Um, hmm. This is tricky. I don't know if I have checkmate. A silver drop here might help. Hmm. It's silver drop. King runs. Let's do it. This looks too interesting. This looks much too interesting. So my idea is gold takes promoted knight takes that's my first idea. Um, Okay, and in this case, um, yeah, I'm so confused. Hmm.
I'm counting on capturing this gold somewhere in the combination. So if king takes, I can hit the rook and then drop the gold here to fork the king and the rook. Um, if rook takes, I think there's a more direct answer. Yeah, we got a lot of tactics going on here today. But I'm counting on somehow winning this rook, so hopefully I'm not just making that up. Um, all right, they take my pieces as they should. The first proverb of Shogi, take pieces. It's a good proverb. Um, mm, hadn't thought about this. Yeah, let's promote. All right, so my rook's under attack, but that doesn't matter. Virtually nothing in this position matters. I'm thinking rook drop here. We've got a lot of tactics going on here. Let's not check. Um, it's kind of an amazing move. Oh, that's a strong move. <laughs> we have got some kind of crab castle thing going on here. Um, wild crab castle. I don't know. Uh, it looks a bit suspect. <sighs> but 
but yeah, I had to defend here. Maybe retreating this goal was equally strong. There's just way too much to read and note. I had not spent my time wisely. That's my fault. But also, I'm still threatening to take a lance and a knight, which will help a lot. Um, Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Is my attack this bad? Uh, maybe so. Well, we've got the knight. It's possible we might end up needing that knight in order to checkmate. Yeah, I'm thinking my earlier sacrifice was unsound because it failed to produce a checkmate. Um... Either that or like some miracle has occurred and actually it was he she in like 35, but that seems extremely unlikely. Um, simpler explanation is the likelier one. Ah, right. So we got the knight. Um, if I block with the pawn, they could rick drop on either side. Um, obviously if my king runs, it's mate in one, so we can't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for the game. My mistake. Oops. All right, nicely played attack. Uh, yeah, no, I think 
I actually made it here. Because, uh, yeah, I relied on this defensive move. Wow. Um, yeah, so night drop. But I think, like, what I saw here was so scary that I had to rule it out. Um, I think you could just take here. Um, and I'm, I'm convinced that I'm dead here, but I don't really know. Um, yeah, I think I'm at least an extremely hot water, but, um, it looks very difficult for me to escape this. Yeah. Uh, so I misread things in the other direction, too. <laughs> uh, so I guess we start at the beginning, try to figure out how this went. Um, yeah. Uh, so perhaps here I'm supposed to... I don't know. Yeah, I thought I had an advantage, which is why I played this the way I did. Um, like, yeah, this looks tricky to hold on to, but, um, I don't know, is this the move? I, yeah, I got very confused. Either that or maybe this, I don't know, but then... Ah, this is so confusing. Mm. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll move on past the opening phase, although it really had an influence on the rest of the game. Um, maybe, maybe this. Um, um, oh, I should turn off emote only mode, although really people could comment on through the site itself. That might be more efficient. But yeah. Oh, well then here I've got this drop. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's really hard for me to say. I don't understand. Uh... So you got this and this and this. Um... Uh, I think you can do like this sort of thing. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. I could be mistaken too, but uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um Hmm. <laughs> did win the game so uh
Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, hmm. So. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even think about this, but probably should have. Um, yeah, well, that's true. Oh! Oh. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Um, right, because there's this pin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I kind of deserved it then. Um, yeah, I need to do something instead of that. Um, hmm. So, <laughs> I wonder, what do we do about this? Um... <laughs> yeah, this looks fun. Um, so if we have something like this, then that. Um, oh, so we're considering this here. Yeah. I feel like somehow this works out. This is unusual. So, yeah, if I end up sacrificing heavy pieces, it's usually because I get more pieces to attack with. Um, so, yeah, it tends to fuel itself, really. If you've played Bug House with chess, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Didn't see Knight 5 4. Yeah, perhaps I had a simpler combination than that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is very nice. Um, Um, yeah, I think this might be the best way or easiest way to go. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh uh So like again this um so yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. 
Well. Yeah, so he played a great attack. Um, uh, yeah, this is useful. Um, hmm. Oh. I got super impatient here. Um, but, uh, so yeah, if I've got like checkmate, if I'm going to win this, uh, then what I've done is okay. Otherwise, I played far too aggressively, uh, so there's no bailing out of that now. Uh, oh wait, so there was this too. Um, hmm... Or rather, maybe even this. Uh, so, yeah, I couldn't find a mate here, so I had to play other moves. Um, but maybe, maybe this is just what the doctor ordered. Um, hmm. It's complicated. Hmm. Oh, but then you can block this again. Um, looks tricky. So, yeah, instead, uh, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea if it works or not, but, um, this was clever. I'm just not sure if it was clever enough. Um... Oh, maybe this is the move. No, no, that's not smart. Um, hmm. yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I could still consider this too. Um, yeah, and then with that having moved, then I can take here. Well, uh, this could be fun to ask on, uh, ask about on next show be someday. Uh, yeah, I think everybody would have a field day if we submitted this game. Um, although, obviously, for my inability to read out Sume, I'd be a bit roasted for it, but yeah, kind of deserve it at this point. So, uh, I have no idea, like, what it is we should be analyzing. This game is, like, way too everything above my head. Um, maybe I had something brilliant. Probably not. <laughs> uh, 
This is so confusing. Okay. That's interesting. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I mean, I saw this as possible, and I rejected it without really thinking enough about it. Um... Uh... So, maybe? I'm not sure. Like, what about this? There's a lot that could happen in this game. Alright, and then I guess we have to recapture. Oh, did I just miss a mate here? Okay. Well, that... I've never seen this pattern before. Um... So... I guess we have to take this. Um... And then we have to... Due to mate threats, we have to sack here. Um, just want to keep more pieces attacking if we can. Don't know. Um, Yeah, yeah, it looks like my attack is faster in this. Yeah. So it looks like my attack is significantly faster at this point. There might be some escape, but it's hard. Um, plus, I might have missed a move already, but maybe there was some way out of this earlier. Uh... <laughs> Very nice defense, because, yeah. You made me think, and eventually, yeah. Uh, ah. Like, I previous, uh, ladder game today, I had to defend. Uh, I guess the lesson, the moral of the story is just don't attack. Or if you're going to attack, know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was good fun. Um, well, gosh. Yeah. Um, I really don't know what more to say about this game. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. 
Uh, thanks for the analysis afterward. Just a sanity check. Yeah, it was um, actually a really challenging game. And neither of us anticipated exactly how it would turn out. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll restore this to the default board size and wrap this up. Uh, glad you all enjoyed looking at this game together with us. Yeah, it was quite a game. Sorry, I missed a comment. Give me one second. We'll check out what the comment was. Yeah, have a nice day. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll meet up some other time. Uh, yeah, very nicely played. Um, one minor variation for those who missed it. That's checkmate. So that's why I felt an urge, well, to defend. And as we pointed out, there was the other checkmate available. So I just panicked in time pressure. Um, oh. Yeah, no, I thought this was checkmate. This is very much not checkmate. And that I have two generals able to capture this, even though this other one's pinned. Uh, I just had a horrifying blind spot where I thought this was checkmate, and it just isn't. Uh, yeah, that's embarrassing. Uh, but we're still one down, so we've got a grasp of the fundamentals. We failed because we don't have really more than a grasp of the fundamentals. If we did, we'd be two done. We're not there yet. So, yeah, this was a nice, nice counterattacking move that really forced me to think. I found this. They played another. Actually, I wonder. Uh, I didn't think much about that. Because I was... <sighs> No, I did think about this as well as I thought about that, and, like, I could not figure this out. I figured either way they're probably taking this knight, because this knight is just really powerful. But, um, yeah, this got complicated. So, uh, yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed that. It's an exciting game. Um, we have very nicely played GLGR. Uh, again, apologies for Nifu here. It's not my intent to lose... Uh, by Nifu. Um, rather, um, it was not my intent to Nifu. I do try very hard to avoid doing that, um, but in this case I just had a blind spot after a blind spot and it could not be helped, unfortunately. So, hope everybody enjoyed and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.